Amigos de Agentes 305, estamos aquí en directo desde Riyadh con el campeón Flavien Pratt, un jockey que como sabemos destaca entre los mejores en el hipismo de Estados Unidos y a nivel internacional. Flavien, you're going to have a, a couple of big races tomorrow here in, in, in uh, Saudi Arabia. First, Pine Horse, uh, three years old from the Bob Buffers barn. He has shown some very good performance before. We have seen him in the track. He looks really awesome. What, what's your take on the, on the horse and what do you think about his race tomorrow? Well, I, I thought he ran a good race last time after a comeback, so uh, hopefully he can uh, you know, step up and, uh, and run a good race tomorrow. I think we have a good draw and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I'm expecting a good race from him. And uh, uh, in the big one, the Saudi Cup, the $20 million race, uh, you have Country Grammar, a good, I, I would say actually a very good horse, with a long time no no racing. We saw it this morning, he looks uh, like a picture perfect. Uh, have you have a chance to talk with the assistant trainer of Bob Buffer? Have you have actually the chance to see the horse? What what do you think it could be in her bene in his benefit or not for this race? Uh, yeah, I talked to uh, Jimmy Bond. Uh, he said that the horse was doing great. Um, as you said, it's, uh, it's, it's he hasn't run for a long time, but I think if somebody can bring a horse uh, 100% for a race after a long layoff, it's definitely Bob Baffert, so I'm um, expecting the same thing, a good run. I think it's it's an open race. There's uh, at least four or five horses that, that could win that race, so we're going to, you know, we get, we have an inside draw, we break, uh, break out of there and see what happens. Do you think that, if, since this is a, a one-turn race, how important for this, for this horse is the actual position that is going to be uh, breaking in the race? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think the one hole, it's, it's ever a, a good thing. Uh, you know, you'd rather be in the middle or on the outside. But there's a long long stretch. There's the backside, it's a long way going into the first turn. So uh, it seems like nobody is in a, any uh, hurry to uh, get down the fence. So uh, hopefully, I, like I said, I can get a clean break and get myself in a comfortable uh, position. And uh, we go from there. Just one final question I had to ask. Are you looking forward to meet again with Horro Charlie in the Dubai World Cup? Oh, absolutely. I thought he ran a great race uh, the other day du uh, in Dubai. Uh, yeah, absolutely. The, it was uh, it always been the objective from uh, uh, after the, the Brio's Cup Classic. It seems like uh, he's doing great. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite excited to uh, get back on him. Excellent. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best tomorrow, not just with the two horses, but also maybe you actually pick up another horse, uh, another mount in the sprint. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it seems like I, get, I, I pick up a mount in the sprint, a horse that uh, has run really well in Dubai. So, uh, yeah, it could, be a, it could be a good chance as well. Excellent. Congratulations in advance. Just the fact that you're here, you, that's a win and wishing you all the best tomorrow. And why not? Not just picking up one win, but maybe two or three. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> y así continuamos con más de la cobertura en directo desde el hipódromo Kinatul Asis en Arabia Saudita de Agentes 305.